Is this what she's not telling me? There's a creepy witch that lives in here, look. The crows. What is that? Crow. Jon Snow, you dirty crow bastard. You are bastard Jon Snow. You're nothing but bastard. What's this? A44. A44? Oh, I don't want to go near this thing. But look, if I check this right, um, where am I now? Hawk's Rest. So maybe it's not a crow, maybe it's a hawk. But there's another place called a hawk. Was there not? Where's the, where, where did I, where's the place that I thought was a geyser? Um, it's like right here, I don't know. It's not marked on this map. But, uh, it could be that, but. <laughs> Look, <laughs> shitty boss is going to get me killed, Hill. I actually marked that down. Um, yeah, but all these caches are like 3 or something, and like 3 or whatever. So this is obviously like an older one where like they use a different numbering system. Um, but I uh, don't want to go near this cabin. Because there's a witch inside. Oh my god, I don't know what is in there. It could be a necromancer or something. So this is probably a hawk. Ah, oh, yeah, I suppose the pointy head does look a bit more like a hawk. I bet you I'm not going to be able to open this armor. It's going to be a different, uh... Is that a slightly different emblem? I don't know. I think it's going to... I think it's going to be a slightly different, uh... combination that I'm going to get from the cabin or something. Hmm? Or not, I guess. It's got a leaf in it and a hat. Huh. Found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Yeah, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Okay. I can put this on. Does that not mean I'm wearing two hats? Okay. And now the cabin. Dun dun dun! Okay, it looks alright. Looks like it's got some sort of balcony in the back or something. Some sort of. I can see light through the door. Is that just some sort of glitch? Okay. Should I call out? Can I go around the back? Instead. No. Can I go inside? No. Is that? Am I gonna see light? <coughs> uh, sorry about your door. Oh no! Look, it's burned down actually. And now I can all I can hear is wind. Great. Oh, okay. So maybe there was a forest fire at some point here then, and but this doesn't make sense. Because why would if if there was a fire, then these cigarettes would um have burned. It says they're old trash, but they would have burned in a fire. So that's they're old, but they're still you know newer than when the fire happened. Oh, that's a cool view. So where's my uh? And where's her kind of house? I think if the poles go that way, I think my house would be like over here somewhere. And hers will be there somewhere as well. Oh, God. Ah, why does this have to be a basement? Hello? I want to be able to crouch. I want to be able to crouch uh, and look. What the fuck is that? Look. Is it like a dog? Okay, no, it's just like two pieces of paper. <laughs> I thought this was like the ear. I thought this was the head and that was like the body. Oh my god, I thought that was like a person. 
Jesus Christ. Remind you really does play tricks on you when you're fucking shitting yourself. Oh, wait a minute. Is this my poster? Is that the poster on my floor of... Okay, maybe because this was a Firewatch outpost, then they all have those. Like a long, long pole pine. <laughs> oh, no, it's not long pole. It's a lodge pole. Ass pin. Ass. <laughs> Make everything dirty. A mock orange. It's like orange mocha. Mm, I'd love an orange mocha right now. Oh, yeah, boy. Fillery Prairie Rider. Interesting. So is there anything I can take? What's this? Nothing. Open the sto stove and find children's skull. No. Where's the old witch? This is creepy. But look, this must have happened a long time ago if that root is uh, kind of like creeping down. Oh, why is it loading? Don't load something. He's loading the witch. What the fuck are these? Pencils? Or cigars? Or... Oh my god. I swear to god, when I turned around I thought it was a leg. God damn it. This here, I thought that was like a leg sticking out of like a body. And a guitar. Hmm. You know, if a bed burns, it's not an even burn. The fat of the body will probably, as it burns, like make a bigger gap. So maybe this is where a body burned. Why am I hearing things behind me? Let's get the fuck out of here. How about that? I wonder if someone died here. Uh, I wanna. No, I don't care. I don't care. I was gonna maybe try and move that chair or something, but no. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, it's so creepy. Fuck you, butterfly. Is she gonna turn into a witch? Are you a spy? Are you a spy? Who are you working for? Fuck you. God damn butterfly. Let's just fucking get out of here. No, don't run though. Something could just appear up a <laughs> on a rock or something. Oh. Okay, we're gonna... Oh my god, where are we going? Let's go to the fucking... Uh... <sighs> this is... An ordeal. First you have to deal with Julia, then Bucket's death. I have to fucking deal with like a fucking stupid telephone wire. Stop freezing, you stupid game. Look, I think up here actually I saw a wire. Yeah, look. I think that's broke. Yeah, fucking is too. I should be able to fix it though, I mean. Well, no, obviously I can't fix it. Unless there's a toolbox or something in here. Okay, where am I going here? I think there's a there's a box in the distance. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I wonder which box it is actually. What the fuck is that noise? I hear rustling. This is another place that I would expect. Okay, I've been, I've been playing Metal Gear Solid with Phantom Pain recently, and like, this is kind of the place where you'd walk in and when you're fighting quiet, you know, and, you know, there's gonna be a sniper up on the top of the rocks. There's some kind of boss fight, you know, it's a big open arena. A witch? Hello? Creepy witch hand. This is where the witch is buried. Creepy witch hand out of the ground. Also, I think this is called Beartooth Point Peak. So it's actually like that because of... It's not because of the bears. You know? It's because it looks like a bear tooth, oh, of course. It's actually, yeah. Uh, I miss lady name. It's actually Monster Island. It's not an island. It's a peninsula. Mm hmm. Okay, let's go up here and see what we've got in terms of goodies. It better be a weapon. Or sh do I want a weapon? Maybe I don't want a weapon, because that means I'll have to fight something. Hello? Hello? Creepy man? Or bear? Or witch? 
another witch hunt. 302. 302. Stop saving. 555. Five, five. Uh, what's the. Oh, yeah. 3. 4. Look, he's still wearing his wedding ring. Oh, look, there's the 4. A mock orange. Mmm. Dave. Hey, oh. I got you a night about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down, mate. Been looking for you all day, figured you'd be out near the canyon trying them grad students, but I guess nit. Nit. I don't even know now I could really. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co workers, you know? Amigos. Professionales. If you need someone to. Throw back a case with and go time traveling. Runs your guy, but I'm not great with this life stuff. You get it later on, Ron. Okay, what are you talking about, you silly man? Two forks look like Chisler Hill, Dizzy Hill. This is pretty eroded. Rex leaving through Mule Point. What? Fuck off with what is the noise? All these rustling bushes, what are they have in here? Are you serious? Is it just <laughs> is it just pine cones? Get the fuck. Oh I've got a board. Is there something under here? Yeah, there is. Okay, let's drop this board. Sorry, board. Six feet down under. Yeah, mate. Six feet down under. Richard Sturgeon. This. That sounds fishy. Detective Neil Black told himself he'd never visit Australia. But then a grizzly murder in South City leads all the way to Sydney. Black is determined to make the killer say good day to justice. Good day. Wait, what was the review? <laughs> But King Midas, living in Golden Age of Crime Function and Sturgeon is King Midas. Okay, let me just put this down a minute. And close this. And now, I got a new book. I can't take this. Why can't I take this with me? Fuck you, I'm taking it. I'm goddamn taking it. How about that, hmm? How do you like those apples? Uh, it's kind of annoying. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of committed now. I don't want to go all the way back. Yeah, I'm taking it. I don't care. This is like Half-Life 2. Where you can take the gnome all the way with you. So I'm going to do that and... Uh, get an achievement for it. Okay, how do I get up here now? To this... Uh, Telephone pool. I've got to do some investigating and see what. Why the why is. Uh... Oh my god, there's beer cans. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. How can these. Why do you think they'd be up here? How can these girls be so How stupid? These girls be so stupid. <sighs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Uh, no. Also, no. I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Where did the book go? <laughs> Shit. Oh god damn it! I've lost my the book six feet under now. Oh, there it is. Thank Christ. I know there's, I know it's beers, but is it, do you not think it's like different people? Oh, I can't pick it up. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the girls who caught the wire. Like, I mean, they didn't have a reason. Like, like, did I not just look like a hiker? Oh, what the, I'm gonna have to drop the book every time. Is it the book of the beer cans? I think I'm gonna go with the book. But I don't think it's the girls, like... I mean, okay, I did destroy the radio, like, but I mean... 
They wouldn't have caught the wire, would they? Or would they? They wouldn't have had time to uh, trash my place before I got back. I mean, because they were hiding behind that rock in the lake. Okay, I'm gonna put you down here, book. I'm gonna pick these ones up anyway. Oh, look, go to hell. <laughs> Working on a pair of panties. That's actually quite threatening. Because it's showing, uh, like, me dead. With a weird hat on. I'm not wearing a hat like that, though. That's, uh... Oh, that's, uh... Forrest Burns. <gasps> Forrest. He's in the cave by himself! Forrest! Is that my... There? Have I left the light on? Shit. Where's hers? Oh my god, I thought that was a person. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? Is that like one of the caches or something? That I can see? Alright, well... Can I report the panties here? You can report it. Hey, the wire's so been the caught. Wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is... It doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. Dun, dun, dun. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. Your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. None of that's a good idea. I mean, why are we going to escalate this further? That music was playing, so is this going to get, like, weird where I'm going to find them and... For some reason I can't see people, they're all just, like, black shapes. So, am I going to see one of them in the distance and they're going to be running for me? And then one's going to fall? Can I not report in the panties? Now, the thing about it is, is if they cut it, they'd have to cut it from that side. For it to be over here. Right? Because there's no wire on that side. Yeah, like, there's no... It's signing down this side, so... They would have to cut over there, come all the way over here, and then seen... And then left their panties here. Fair enough, I suppose. Seems like a lot of effort. It doesn't seem like something they would do, either. Yeah, look, I mean, there's no... There's no wire hanging from there, so... Okay, let's follow the beer cans, little bitches. Coming to get you. I'll try and... I did break a stereo, so I'm not going to try and uh, be too much of an asshole about it. Okay, let's drop. Jeez, they were just drinking beer the whole time when they were down here. Wow. Now I want some beer. I'm goddamn thirsty for some beer. Red Eagle's my favorite. Drink Red Eagle if you want to be American. America. America. Can't read the get home and read my book. Read my book. Read my book. Hmm. It's gonna collapse on me. No. I can't clear it because I've got my book, so... 
Yeah, it just looks. It looks like it just leads me back to where I came. So fuck that. What was that? Oh, it's a tree. Okay. Um, I suppose I should hurry up and if I want to catch them, like. Whoa! What the fuck is this? Ah, oh, fuck off, book. Interesting. Can I report on her? There's like. Looks like they have tried to climb a cliff and their rope is broken. I want to go to two forks. Actually, is the way. But thoroughfare. Oh, supply drop. Let's go and get some supplies. Also, let's go and see if we can get to uh, Delilah's thing. It's probably just up here, actually, is it? Oh my god, if I go here and she's not even there, <gasps> what'll happen? What's that? Oh, she stumped. Okay, we're going to see her first. And be like, hey, surprise! I should have bought the whiskey, actually. And be like, surprise! Now let's get drunk and do stuff together. Let's do adult things together. Okay, I see what you did. I see what you did here, developers. You made it. You put a cable car in a big match of gorge so that I can't get to Delilah. Okay, actually, it does look like she's quite far away. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Hmm. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. <laughs> no, you shouldn't play around. That's like the boy who cried wolf. You know, you say it's an emergency and then you'll be like... The next time you say it, she'll be like, well, we all know the story. I almost forgot about my book, actually. I was too wrapped up in getting my supplies. A man's gotta eat. Oh, I gotta put this stupid combination in. Every goddamn time. Two forks. Leaf. Well, I suppose I better leave this alone, then. I wonder if this is a thing that I could see from uh, up at the top of the hill. No, uh, probably not. No, it must have been because it's like that same shape. It's kind of a bit long. Which means I was up there? Huh, oh, don't know. I was up somewhere, but maybe the trees weren't loaded when I was up there. Fuck, what did I put my book now? Uh, no. <laughs> just fucking threw it. What did I come down even? Oh no, it was further up this way actually, wasn't it? Must have been down here. I don't. I hope I didn't lose my book. That was the most important thing to me. More important than bucket. Now nah, I'm messing. Nothing's more important than bucket. But here it is. Love you, bucket. I love you, bucket. You're my man, bucket. You're my boy. All right, looks like someone's fail. This could be serious. They might be six feet under. Richard Sturgeon. Hello, my name's Dick Sturgeon. You may, may remember me from such films as... Ropey. The rope safety mascot. It does not look good. And this does not look good either. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. I don't think you understand. It looks like someone's, like, fallen and died. Although, if their backpack got... Is your skeleton around here? If we failed, their backpack got snagged. And swipe. Woohoo! Ryan Goodwin. Oh shit, no. Oh, I got me a camera. Well, I am 
them flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Oh, God. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Um, look out? Look out? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. Hmm. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. It took off halfway through the summer. You keep in touch? You guys keep in touch, you and the Goodwin kid? Nah. They took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, <laughs> what's a 40 year old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? Hmm. Good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? I think I'll, okay. There's so much going on, I don't even know. Number one, my book landed in a rock, so it is literally now six feet under. Like buried. Fuck. Okay. So I can't get my pack. can't get my pack. Brian Goodwin is dead probably. I don't know, his pack's up here, so why would his pack and rope be there? Jesus. He used three or four pictures, so that means when I get them developed, are the first three or four gonna be like mentally scarring? See, I use my disposable camera. I don't really want to take a picture and waste anything. Okay, let's climb down here. Okay, and there's a caramel smoke, actually. I have to report in that. And I assume these ropes aren't going to break since they're kind of new. Although, that would suggest differently. Um, good thing, caramel smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. I see it it's too. like a tornado. A plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. It's getting dark like the sun's setting. Oh, fuck off. No, look. Bear sightings. Six. Like, literally. Good climbing. Mule point. Thoroughfare basin. Bear sightings. Bear tooth point. What is this? That's the uh, fire something, if I remember correctly, from the tree thing. Dave, guess he's going out with Debbie next week. No, not that shit, it'll stay. It's your man, Ron. Ron Weasley. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for... Lowe's? For Lowe's? Oh. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the face service Sony, the forest service, and he picks that the range didn't perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's tell us the deb that spot. Ron. Oh, this is 86, actually. Let's report this, see what she says. Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Okay, let's see what she says with this actually as well. Oh. 
Every girl. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could it be the same person who left that antler? Well, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, <gasps> piece by piece. My antler? I forgot about the antler, actually, as well. You know, I'm not going to bring anything else to the thing. It's too hard. If you can't keep it, then... You know, if I remember correctly... Over here, there were six bear sightings. 